Before we start making our app, we should first understand what it is that we're making. So let's break down all the components that make up an iPhone app and talk about the anatomy of an app. There's three main components that you should think about. One is the view, which is what you see on screen or what appears on screen. These are buttons and labels, um, text or images. Um, then there's the view controller. So this goes on behind the scenes and this is the code that controls what should happen when a user taps a button or what should happen when you have a piece of data to display on screen. Then finally, there's the model. The model is what controls the data. It manipulates the data and prepares the data to be served up to the view controller. So let's take a simple app, um, such as a contact app. So it just manages all of your contacts. And when you open up your app, the first thing that would happen is that the view controller will ask the model for the data of all your contacts, their phone numbers, um, their images, etc. And the model grabs that data and passes it back to the view controller. The view controller then decides how it should be displayed on the view. And then the app will display all the information that was retrieved in a nice, beautiful format. So this works the other way as well. Say if a user taps on a button that deletes this contact, say John Doe, the view will tell the view controller that the delete contact button was tapped. The view controller will make contact with the model and ask it to remove that contact from its database. So these three core components come together to make up what you see as the app. So this is known as the model view controller design pattern. And this is a very common design pattern that people adhere to when they're creating iPhone apps. And the reason why we use the model view controller design pattern is because it has several advantages that make our app more versatile and also easier to manage. Say if instead of having all our app in English, we wanted to populate our app with um, data that's in French. The model view controller enables you to do that really easily without having to change the view, the controller or the model. All you have to do is just swap in the new French data and you can leave the rest of the code untouched. So this way, it's quite easy to produce new versions of your app, retaining the functionality and only swapping out the data. Another reason why people really like the model view controller is the fact that it separates all the different functionality and the different components into individual packages of code. So this way, if there's a problem, in your app, if there's an error or a bug, it's much easier to identify by looking to see whether if it's in the view or if it's in the controller or if it's in the model. This way of modularizing code makes it easier to maintain and helps you when you're debugging. Okay, so this is a very brief introduction into one of the design patterns that we'll be covering, the MVC or model view controller design pattern. And in future, when we're creating more complicated apps, we'll be going into some of the other popular design patterns, as well as diving a bit deeper into the model view controller pattern as well. But for now, all we need to know is that there's three core components that make up all our apps, the view, the controller, and the data model. And combined, they come together to create our app. Okay, so that's a brief primer on app anatomy. In the next lesson, we're gonna be creating our very first app. So I'll see you on the next lesson.